For tonight's Making It Here segment, we feature Wilbraham photographer Exana Von Beek, who has been in the photography business for over half a century. Videographer Mark Langevin and I went and talked to him about his long and illustrious career. My name is Xenophon Beek. I'm uh, a product of immigrant Greek parents, born in Springfield, Massachusetts. My first camera was a Brownie Hawkeye, and I remember the first photograph that I ever developed uh, was in Longmeadow, Massachusetts. And as a senior in high school, I was a photographer for the, for the yearbook. And I started doing photography seriously and bought a speed graphic in high school. And uh, I was working as in a composing room with the Springfield newspapers. And in the evenings, I would go with, with photographers on, on assignment. And uh, I got out of high school early and opened up my own photographic business. And I was 18 years old at the time. And fast forward uh, a couple of years and I went into the military. They said, what would you like to do? I said, I'd like to go to photography school. What's your second choice? My second choice is truck mechanics. And my third choice was, I said, infantry. The Lord works in strange and mysterious ways. So I went to photography school. That was, that was the first formal education I had. I graduated second in my class, and uh, the rest is part of my history. I started a business at, at age 18. So it was a natural for me uh, when uh, I got out of the military to go back in the Springfield newspaper. And the first photographic convention I went to, uh, I entered a photograph and print competition and it was then I realized that that formal education that I had in the Army was just the tip of the iceberg. I thought I knew everything. I knew, I knew nothing. And uh, I furthered my education. And uh, within two years, I became a lecturer all over the United States and Canada. And I was recognized by my peers. And uh, I learned more by teaching than I did from my students. And I just became better and better. Photography is a real, real passion for me. To really be serious, to do it and earn a living. And if you love what you do, you never have to work a day in your life. And that's what it's like for me. The passion and the burning in my, in my belly has never, ever stopped from the first time I used the Brownie Hawkeye to today. And I'm using a high-end digital camera. And it's only, it's only a tool, but the greatest tool is your eye and your imagination. I used to uh, have my film developed at a color lab in Turner's Falls and in one in Hartford, Connecticut. And eventually, I went to the other dimension. I, I invested and I had a full professional color lab to support my photographic business. That was a stepping stone to become a much better photographer because I had full control not only of the exposing the photograph, but of processing and making prints, black and white and color. And we processed every flavor of color film and black and white film. I even beta tested film and paper for Eastman Kodak and Fuji film. In the meantime, as I entered photographs for print competition, I learned how to become better. I would rub elbows with some of the finest photographers in, in the world and I would learn a little from here, a little from there, and I would apply it to what I was doing. And I eventually became a mentor. People have asked me, what's the best picture you've ever taken? I've not taken that, that picture yet, because if you hit the top, there's only one way to go from there. And I'm always striving to be better. And uh, it blows people away when they meet me and they find that I have become an octogenarian. I don't let my age stand in my way. I build my own computers. You know, I beta test software for Nikon. It's a burning passion, and I've never stopped loving what I do.